Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome to Bionicle Day. Um, 810 is Bionicle Day because the 8 and the 10 look like bio. Uh, the first part of the word Bionicle. Bionicle is a Lego imprint of traditionally toys being Lego. Um, but it also had a bunch of games, animations, movies, books, and comics. Um, a bit ago, at the end of last year actually, I played the first Bionicle game, such as it is. And the same company, the same studio, Templar Games, made these. These are the Borok animations. They are available through... Here we go. I'm watching the first one on YouTube, but the rest are through Biomedia Project. Um, these are the Borok animations, and they are just... This is how you would experience the plot of Bionicle. Uh, I've not seen them in years, and I would like to. I don't have the ability to LP like this because this was never made into a game as far as I know. Um, and for all the awesomeness that the Borok had, there was no uh, like game for it. Which is a shame because they make good enemies. They show up in other games as filler enemies, but that isn't really canon. Anua says, we cannot resist them. They are too many and powerful. We must abandon Pokoro. But how? If we leave town, we have to go straight through them. The main gate's the only way out. It's also the only way in. If we could find a way to block it. This is Huki and Hafu, I believe, with Draga Onua. As you can see, for those who saw my LP of the Mata Nui Online game, this is the same, uh... I cannot topple my own creations. There must be another way. There is none. And you're the only one with a skill to do it. Ah, play on his ego there. The Tanak will be at the main gate soon. I'll gather a company to escort you. So, for those not sure where we are, at the end of the last Huki, Sorry about this, Hafu. I'll tell Onua that I'll lead the company. I won't let anything happen to you. Don't worry. <laughs> Stuff behind me there. A sneak attack. They're at the gates now. That sucks. At the end of the Mata Nui Online game, we're too late. Um, Takua, main character of that game, accidentally activated whatever these are. These are the Borok. It's Hafu, he made it out. He's knocking down the statues. But he's trapped and he can't get back in. Hafu, no! Alright, sorry about that. Um, I cannot get the first episode to play on Biomedia Project for whatever reason. I can get all the other ones to play, um, as near as I can tell. Um, let me... Yeah, see, this is what happens when I... And this is where we left off. So that's a Borok. Borok were the, like enemy, quote-unquote, for 2002 of Bionicle. Um, let me go. I'm sorry, Hookie. It's too late. We can't save him. I love these guys. Yeah, it's Pohatu. My man. I can't leave you guys alone for a minute, can I? So yeah, Takuo accidentally woke these things up at the end of Madanui Online Game. Maybe I should have thought this one through a little better. Help us, Huki. Is that mask of mind control? What is it? 
Could just be that he's using it to send a message. I don't think he's really uh, mind controlling him. But well, it's cool like that. Also, Hookie says he must concentrate. Relax and focus, just like on the field. No. No problem. Heck yeah. <laughs> Radical. And then that's Mask of Levitation. Yep. Nice shot. Oh, the hug. But now what? Oh, they even got the rubber bands in there. The Borok could snap their heads forward if you... Actually, let me... All right, this is a Borok. This is a Tanok call. Um, it's technically a different type of Borok, but you can see that they roll up into these little balls. Um, but yeah, you can unroll them into the standing position that they had. They usually have a pretty goofy stance as a result of you know their back being built like this, but they had an uh, action where you could snap their head forward like this. The rubber bands that were used to keep this one from you know, snapping back and forth have long since perished. Uh, but it's still a very, very good set. Um, the 10 I call is something we'll get to later, but they also had this thing where you could snap their faceplate open and there would be this thing called a Krana inside. And with pushing on the eyes, these appear to be eyes at least, you can launch the Krana forward. And this is what they would do a lot. And you could actually see that regular Tanak, not a call, not a call like this. You could see that regular Tanak do that in this, in that animation. Um, but Takua inadvertently awoke these, or so we believe. Um, this was actually Makuta's plan. He was unable to continue his his devious plot against the Matoran after the Toamata kind of wrecked him, and so in an attempt to try and make up some headway on them after he, you know, lost, he activated this. So in the animation, it looks like Takua is the one who does it. And, you know, Takua screws up a lot of stuff on this island. So I was of the belief that, yes, it was his fault for a couple of years, but it actually isn't. Um, but anyway, so yeah, these sets sold great, um, which is why that they made these. The call are just Borok, but with one primary color instead of two. You may have noticed that the regular Tanak were red with orange highlights, and these are chromed with red highlights. Um, but the Borok just woke up. It was very confusing. This is for those who don't know, by the way. Keep moving, says, I think, Nuparu. Go, make for the service. Yeah, that's Nuparu. Um, the Borok were activated and they just attempted to just start destroying everything. It was kind of unclear how they worked or why. It says, curse these monsters. Taipu, look out! Throwing that back in my bin. But yeah, Tanok burned through everything and we just saw Galak. You can see that they have the same elemental prefix as, you know, Takoro, Tawahi. Tahu and Gali, Gakoro, etc. They have fire and water prefixes. Taipu? Oh, Taipu. Taipu, you're okay. Wait, then. Blind. I'm blind. No, Nuparo has an orange mask, doesn't he? No, you're not blind. The tunnel collapsed. It's dark, that's all. Did they all get out? So this is kind of a scary arc in the comics. Yes, I'll accept one. <laughs> I don't know where he is. Hello? <laughs> who goes there? So you're, uh, who are you? Nuparu, Tunnel Engineer, Second Class. They have classes? 
Marn Tunnel 12, Section 4. Who are you? Onepu, High Commander of the Usulri. Or possibly Usulri. Veteran of the Makuta Wars, right hand to Shirago Wanua of Onukoru. Oh, and Taipu's here too. I didn't know that they called these things Makuta Wars. Uh, sorry, sir, I didn't recognize you. Maybe that's just Onepu kind of inflating his, uh, his self-worth there. Still a little shaken. No need to apologize. Do you have any light? Oh yeah, I have a light stone. Somewhere. I forgot. But yeah, this was heartbreaking in the comics because, like, they, they finished their fight with Makuta. Oh lord. And then, like, they, they're like, alright guys, we did it. And then they get out. It's alright, it's disabled. And then the island is already being attacked by the Borok. There's no Krana. So I mentioned, yeah, the Krana are what control Borok. It's brain. They eject from the host body to attack. This is jumping ahead. These, these are concepts that had to be explained to the Toa, like, piece by piece. With no brain, the body shuts down. Foreshadowing. Um, these had to be explained to the Toa piece by piece as they happened. You know who told me? Well, if we're going to get out of here, I guess we better start digging. Um, if you would like to watch these yourself without my face over it, by the way, you are welcome to do so with... Nupara, you're an engineer. Maybe you can think of something to help us. You can do so with the help of a website called Biomedia Project or with YouTube. Biomedia Project has all of the old Bionicle um, animations, commercials. It has sets. It'd be better if you think and dig at the same time. That's an oozle crab there. Wait, sir, I have an idea. Uh, the Onukoro Matoran ride those. Yeah. So again, in the comics, this is this is a thing that was common with this arc of Bionicle, this three-year little area. Um, in the comics and in the books, you would read about the Toa. And sometimes even, the books would have a separate set of Toa doing things... Hey, that's a Matoran element. The books would have a separate set of um, uh, Toa doing things from in the comics. Uh, and in here we can see more of the Matoran stuff, similar with how the Mata Nui Online game primarily focuses on Matoran, and then the books and comics focus on the Toa. And like, we see the Toa walk through, you know, the Matoran's lives as, as gods would, because, you know, in this early thing, the Toa are believed to be gods, but, you know, reading the comics, the thing that Nuparo invents just kind of shows up, and Onu is like, oh yeah, Nuparo invented that, don't worry about it. But, you know, in these animations, you get a better chance to see it. I haven't seen these animations in years. But yeah, this is the, uh, this is just an alternative side of the Bulrock Wars. So yeah, Galak have elemental water naturally, as befitting their blue color scheme. Um, all Every single Borok matches their normal color, except for green, the Levok. Levok, instead of having air and having... which would make sense because they actually have the name Levok, Levok have acid, which is weird. Yeah. I love this thing. This was a really cool set. Um, I'm an engineer, not a poet. I love this line. Besides, a practical name will be easiest for you monsters to remember. I'll call it... Boxor. So this was a set. It would fit one Matoran, and this is actually how you got the little um, set of the little Nuparu Matoran. That's how you would get that orange mask. Um, and it was actually built out of spare Borok parts. And uh, a Matoran sits in there, and then it has little punch arms, and it can fight Borok. And it was a really, really cool set. I love that. Zanuparu so built this out of spare Borok, so the Toa can, like, you know, destroy a Borok, or they can find a one without its Krana. It is good to see you. If only it were not dark time again. Recall that Le uh... I'm glad you're both safe. Takua is speaking for the first time, since he did not really speak in, um... 
He didn't really speak in my new online game. Sorry, let me skip it back. I'm glad you're both safe. How many are left? None. Tomato and I alone escaped. This is Kongu, the first Bionicle set I ever had. Lake Koro is lost. Mighty Toa Leo has fallen. So this was also scary in the comics. No, Kongu. Liwa is safe. Onua saved him, but they must join the other Toa. Yeah, this is... I'm, I'm noticing this. I'm going to pause it now just to talk. Um, you would hardly know what's going on by just watching these animations. You would really need to have a subscription to Lego Magazine and see, like, the A-plot of the Borok Wars develop. But the comics are really, really good. Um, sorry, I yawned there. The comics are very solid, and you would enjoy reading them. If you enjoyed the other ones. Um, the art for these comics are so, so solid. Um... But yeah, in the Borok Wars, Liwa, everyone goes off to uh, help their respective Koro. And when Liwa gets to Le Koro, everyone already has a Krana on. And, you know, Kranas are like a face hugger thing and they mind control you. It's just what they do. Uh, Kongu, I was very happy about this at the time, but Kongu, my favorite one, escaped. Um, I was very pleased. But yeah, so Takua, main character of Madanui Online game, and loosely the main character of the entire Bionicle saga. I should really do a poll about that. Um, but he was, uh, uh, they're, they're showing up to, you know, they've sent us to help Leap Koro, as he says. These boxers can defeat the Borok. The Borok, indeed. Not Nuvok. Oak New Machine's boxers are, but Nuvok invincible in dense jungle. Uh, yeah, Lake Horowin speak in, um, only Baldland, maybe. Boxers stand a chance. Lake Horowin speak with tree speak, just a little slang where they combine two words into one compound word. Baldland? He means open country, outside of the jungle. You know, a bald land without trees. The Nuvok are earth dwellers. They're at home in tight quarters. Nuvok was actually a set I had. That was the Earth one. Not called O Nuvok. They, you know, cut the O off of it. Well, he's right about our chances. The boxers are good, but we can't maneuver in these trees. Maybe I have an idea. Okay, here's the plan. I love you, Takua. Takua's so cool, man. Alright, plan setting up. So yeah, not that much focus on the Toa in these. We saw Pohatu do a little things, but that's just because Pohatu's like very, very close with his with his village, you know? Hero to his people. Yeah. Doing their cool jumps. I love you, Kongu. Tomaru is also cool. I love the teal in Kongu's mask. That's a that's a color that I think was only used on Kongu and maybe one of the two Tarakavas. It was such a beautiful color. See, I actually had the Nuvok set as a kid. I thought that they were cool. Destroyers, you cannot defeat Lake Koro. Tomaru's chest and arms, you may notice, are printed in the same teal. Slow think Nuvok, Old Bone, and Bogfoot. Yeah. Dude, put that on. <laughs> if Matoran don't have their mask on, recall that they fall unconscious. So Nuvok have... Windsprint Kongu, Nuvok have earth shaken powers, but this also just means that they can, like, blow holes through things. Uh, as And, you know, I just love seeing Kongu do stuff. I greatly enjoy seeing Kongu do things. So yeah, a little more angle of the, uh, uh, of the corruption of Lekoro, the takeover of it. Kongu, tomorrow, I'm glad you could join us. I actually have this guy. I showed him during the Madanui Online game. There is much work to be done. Those red Krana are from Levak. Now, oh, I love I love the little the little like drum beats that they use for uh, Lake Horo. Yeah, oh, it's so cool. And they're so dorky. Like you would think that you would want to have armor in front of you, but the the Matoran is sitting in front of the huge war machine. Like. 
like in, in, in the way that a little baby basket would be. So these are uh, Borok Va. They are essentially, if Borok are like Matoran, these are Panrak. I had these as well. If uh, Borok are like Toa, then Borok Va are like Matoran. Um, Borok Va don't have uh, elemental powers, and they primarily just... Maku and Holly, by the way. Um, oh, yeah. Jirag of Akama sends his regards. This is Jala. We met him. He's Sakua's best friends. Uh, he's instructed my guard and I to defend your village at all costs. It's an honor, Jala. Old spelling. And you have come none too soon. As you have seen, the Padarak are already at our gates. Oh, yeah. I often would... So... <laughs> I never noticed this as a kid, but... I had horrible dyslexia. I never, ever noticed it. Um, especially with, like, the made-up words in, like, this or, like, Aragon or Lord of the Rings or something like that. I would have terrible, terrible dyslexia. And I frequently read Parak as Panrak because I, I read the H as an N. The worst one is still um, Morbuzak. In Bionicle 2004, there's a villain called Morbuzak. And I would frequently read it as Morzabuk, not Morbuzak. I would always, always get it backwards. It was terrible. I would do it like every time I read it. And I never noticed like 20 years passed, not 20 yet, but uh, like 15 years had passed. And then I was like, oh my God, I've been reading this backwards. Uh, chronicler, chronicler, why have you come? Recall that Taku is the chronicler. This means that he just writes down the things that happen on the big wall of history. Why have you come? I've come with Nuparo, an engineer from Onokoru. He's devised a machine called Boxer that can stand up to the Borak. This is interesting because, again, like, recall that the, uh, the central theme of Bionicle and one of the cool ideas was, like, cool robots that somehow live in a tribal society. Why do they live like that? How did they end up like that? How do they persist that way? But like, just being a robot might give you more of an edge on mechanical stuff. And the only organic part of a um, of a of a Borok is the Krana, which can be ejected safely. Um, Matoran are organic and robotic. They do have organic bits in there. Um, and some denizens of the Bionicle universe are fully ro uh, fully organic, rather, and just wear armor. And then that armor is how, you know, they're presented as Lego sets. Because, like, yeah, of course they use big, you know, Lego pieces that are all spiky and angular, but it's because they're wearing armor. Um, but, like, being a biomechanical creation and then knowing what, like, your health is, knowing how to repair yourself, that would automatically give you an edge on, uh, you know knowing what mechanical things are and so like it was just a matter of them getting a hold of new pieces of, of parts and then they could make mocks you know in the same way that somebody who likes legos is building with legos but doesn't want to take apart the stuff they already have and then they get spare pieces and then they use those to make mocks beautiful you know it just it's one of those things where, like, you can really see yourself reflected in the Matoran. Um, in 2004 and five, they would actually sell these jugs, like these... My, my uncle referred to it as a pretzel jar, jokingly. Um, but it was a jug. It was about this big, and it was full of bionicle parts. And you would just use those to make mocks. Mocking is a... Mocks and mocking is just a Lego term. Um, it means my own creation. And you would use these to make mocks. And so, like... I actually hate taking apart my Bionicles. I hate taking apart those. I love all the sets that I have. Um, I don't really dislike any of the sets enough for me to be like, I want to take this apart and use the parts for something else. And so it was a godsend to get that massive jug of, of Bionicle parts. And like, God, if my uncle is ever watching this, I'm still thinking about it. Yeah, I'm still thinking about the pretzel jar full of Bionicles. Um, but I... I would use those to make mocks instead. And granted, it was a completely random assortment, so it's not like it was a guarantee that you could make mocks, but I would use those instead, and I had such an excellent time that. And I really saw myself reflected in the Matoran of like, of course you don't want to take apart a Matoran, because for me, that's a completed set, and I like them. 
and in their case it's because it's a living thing uh and that was also the case for me i would see it and respect it as a living you know person a being a character i knew but when you see it as when you just have some spare parts and you can make your own creations you're welcome to Turaga. i'm in conference with these good matoran kotu why do you disturb us come quickly I think you'll want to see this. The how is the most iconic mask, the the rounded one at the top that Tahu and Jalar wear. Um, but I do really like the Kakama, the mask of speed. It's the one that Pohatsu wears, and you could see one of the Matoran wearing a blue Kakama in the background. I'll point it out again if we see it. Huki's wearing one actually. On One uh, uh, Onua's right. Also recall that this character, Turaga Onua, the brown stone elemental Turaga is Onua, and the black earth elemental Toa is Onua, but their names are spelled differently. The Toa is spelled O-N-U-A, and the Turaga is spelled O-N-E-W-A. Still one of the things that annoys me most about Bionicle, maybe the most about this era, just ugh. Why would you do this? <laughs> hey guys. Draga Onua. Forgive our uninvited arrival, Draga Nokama. Draga old friend, naturally. I wish it was a happy visit, but we come here in desperation. We fled Powahi and hope to find sanctuary here. It seems, however, we've leapt from the puddle to the pond. Indeed, it is true. The Paraka at our gates. Some of us may recall from the Madanui Online game. My people are exhausted from the journey. Um, Maku was a huge fan of Huki. She loved his coldy playing. Uh, anyway, as you know, my people are not overly fond of water. But they can still fight. Yeah, Pomatorn being all rock elemental are very heavy and don't swim well. To arms, the Paraka moving to the beach. Draga, we must destroy the causeway that leads to Kakora from the beach. They'll be unable to advance on the town. Kuru, Maku, Hali. Old spelling for Maku. Take tools and as many Matoran as are willing. Dismantle the causeway. Womp it, yeah. I had Parak as well. I actually had Parak, Tanak, and uh, Nuvak. Hurry, they're almost through. Almost got it. And you could actually build a combiner of those, a Kaita. Um, you may recall a Toa Kaita from Mata Nui online game, where three Toa combined. Run! Maku, look out! Um, but three Bora could also combine. Yeah! Three Bora could also combine and make a Kaita as well. And I actually had the three that you would use to make Kaita Za, I want to say. Yeah, it's Huki and Maku. So these two develop a friendship. Um, this has led to numerous problems. Uh, the author of Bionicle has said love isn't canon. Like, romantic attraction is not canon. Because, you know, this is a line for children. You can stray away from love. People are focused on having good friendships. And also, they're robots, and they do not... Um, I'm stretching my uh, kid-friendly thing here, but it's fine. They don't sexually reproduce. That was a nice shot, Huki. Um, Matoran and Toa do not sexually reproduce. Now, the Parak have no way to reach us. Now, granted, romance and sexual reproduction don't necessarily have to have anything to do with each other. Yes, we're safe, but where are they gone? It seems too quiet, almost. But I can see a, a justifiable reason for why there's no romantic love in the Bionicle universe, at least in the Matoran side of things. Maybe they gave up and went home. But also, look at this. Not Parak. When they decide to solve a problem, they don't stop until they find a solution. 
We will see them again, I wager. Wait, what's that noise? Oh, also, in addition to Huki and Maku, who have one of the biggest, like, relationships between Tuma Torin that isn't, like, obviously friendship-related. Uh, oh, that stock music, yeah. Jaller and Hali have one as well. The girl with the scuba mask behind uh, Jaller. The Gama Torin. But yeah, they actually didn't have a thing where, uh, like, elementally aligned Borok would attack their same element. Like, water Borok wouldn't necessarily go after Gakoro. Um, we see that the Parak are. You would think that Parak would go after the stone uh, Matoran, Pokoro, but we actually saw Tanak there. You know, so you can see that it's a whole thing. Oh, well, that ain't good. Yeah, being made of several Borok, they're heavier than one Borok individually. Yeah. We're trapped, but safe. It's happened to Gakoro before, actually. Unless you'd like to swim for it, Huki. Onomatoran similarly swim very poorly. Look, a goat dog. What? I don't remember these at all. Is that Krana? So this is the actual purpose of the Borok bot. They carry inert Krana who do not have... Not just Krana. They carry inert deactivated Krana. And they can Krana Vu! They can replace a uh This is a thing, by the way. They can replace a Borok's um existing Krana. Or if a Borok has thrown its Krana at somebody else, they can replace uh the Krana into the now empty Borok. Similar to Kanohi, you know the masks. Krana all have their own powers, non-elemental powers. We can't let those monsters win. We can't. But we're cut off from the others. But yeah, there are actually eight types of Krana that we know of. Come on. Uh, yeah, there are eight types of Krana. I love this. I love this shot. It's a little goofy, but I like it. But when a Krana is in a Borok, I don't think it works outside of a Borok, but when a Krana is in a Borok, it can be used as like a... Uh, as a mask. It essentially has like an elemental... or not one elemental power. So that's one mask on their head beasts. You have to deal with me. Just some guy. <laughs> you mean to destroy us, beast? I think this is the last one. Get on with it. Otherwise, shoo. <laughs> oh, I love Takua. Shoo? So this is stuff that was going on off screen. But the Toa were actually having a boss fight with the Borok Queens. Turaga Nakama, what's happening? The Toa. They've captured the Barag. Oh yeah, I read that as Bagra as a child. More evidence. Um, after fighting the Bar Bagra Queens, uh, the Toa actually sealed the Bagger Queens away in a thing called a Toa Seal, which is a thing that you can just do. Oh, bad JPEG. Um, if any six elements combine and the elements are fired by Toa, and the six elements don't feature light and shadow, it can have one or the other, but not both, it can make a thing called a Toa Seal, which just locks something away forever. And, like, this is something not implied by the, by the title Toa Seal, 
but my wife assumed when I was explaining this concept to her on oh, my mic, pardon me. Um, my wife assumed that a Toa seal, the Toa had to remain a part of it. But like, no, six Toa can say, we don't like this thing. They lock it in a Toa seal and then they leave. They, they're fine. No one has to stay behind. There's no sacrifice. The thing is, is that it requires perfect unity, but you know, that's because it's one of the central themes of Bionicle of being unified and unity, duty, destiny, all that stuff, three virtues. Um, and so the Toa are able to act as one and Toa seal the Bara queens into a Toa seal, uh, which shuts them off. And the queens are controlling the Borak. Um, I know that that's a, a little complicated, uh, but yeah, the Borok, they have behaved a little like hive insects and their only goal is to just destroy everything on the island. Um, I think people who have been possessed by a Krana talk about how the feeling that they have is just clean, just clean it all. You know, that's the overriding order you get typically. Uh, and it's why they don't even attack Matoran. Um, they've attacked Matoran, you know, because they've been standing in their way. But in the comics, they point out that they only do so if the Matoran are in the way. They happily ignore Matoran as long as they let them clean. And that's all they're really doing. Um, which is kind of weird. Uh, but it's one of those things that would end up becoming, like, part of the big twist. Um, and obviously, this is the internet, and you can find out the big Bionicle twist if you want to. But I've been going through the Bionicle series, the the franchise, on this channel, almost as a way of, like, looking at it from my point of view, from my perspective, growing up with it, it aging with me, um, and, like, I don't know what the twist is. I I won't find out what the twist is for another, what, seven years after this. Um, and I just, I think that the Bull Rock are cool because they're little ball guys that roll up, but I know that they're an evil and must be defeated. But yeah, um, why they do this, we'll get into later. But for now, we've just observed them as hive insects, essentially. It's over, Nurakama says. Yeah. Dumping them in the hole. You know, keeps them off of my hands. You can see the bad JPEG back there as well. Ugh. May those filthy things never see the light of day again. Nuparo has reprogrammed the, uh, the Borak. They are just robots, essentially. That shot you left made a big impression, Hookie. Shot you made left a big impression. They've come up with a new kind of Coley. So this new version of Coley is what they actually, using those old fishing nets, this version of Coley is actually what they play with the movie. Initially, Coley was soccer with four goals. We're taking some back with us. I guess that's it then. Sorry, I just want to lore dump here. Initially, Coley was a Pomatoran sport played like soccer, but with four goals. Um, and depending on the size of your team, you would either have two guys or you would have four guys. And you're your own goalie in that in that case. Um, but they changed it to have smaller balls. Um, you know, Coley balls got smaller. And they used the little, the little, spa uh, the little staffs. Um, and the more modern version of Coley, this is the one that was also seen in the movie Mask of Light, the first big Bionicle movie, and one of the more important Bionicle things like ever. But that version of Coley is what they play in that. They play a version with those staffs with six players and three goals. Um, an attacker and a defender for each team. Uh, and I think they also let you play like a flash game that was essentially that Coley, like that sport. Um, I'm pretty sure they did. It was either that or it was a snowball game. It might have been both. Um, in my attempt to play and experience every piece of Bionicle media on this channel, uh, I don't know what I'll do about the books, but in my attempt to do that, I will try to play the Flash Coley game at some point, but later. There is peace at last. 
piece again at last. It will last for 40 more seconds. A lot of rebuilding to do. Oh yeah, this wasn't mentioned, but Takoro was completely destroyed. Like, Jaller and Takua's village was totally just wiped off the map. What about you? I'm going back to Pokoro with Onua. By land this time, to be sure. Come on, Huki, it's time for your swimming lesson. I love these two. In the gar I love this. In the guard, we have a saying. Danger is the anvil on which trust is forged. Oh, that's so cool. I love that line. I'm glad to call you friend, Takua. See, Jala and Takua, like, they get along well, I guess, in the Mononui Online game. But in this, they, like, you know, they have to rely on each other more. I suppose you'll be going soon. Yeah, the comma's waiting for a word of Gakoro. I should... <laughs> That's Holly. They have a back and forth thing going on. But again, maybe I can stay a bit. So yeah, Holly and Jaller also have a thing going on, like in the way that Holly, hi. In the way that Huki and Maku do. A brom. Takoro keeps getting messed up. Takoro is the worst one. Like they can barely refinish. Uh, they can barely finish rebuilding it before it's destroyed again inevitably. All right. Uh, that is that is the end of the Borok animations. These are technically the Borok call animations. Uh, let me minimize this. There we go. Um, those are technically the Borok call animations, and those cover a different thing. Um, I want to mention something. So the Toa Nuva fought the Barag Queens, and they were immersed in a substance called Protodermis. Um, this is the game version of it. This is totally non-canon. I do like these models. Um, but basically, while being dunked in this stuff called Protodermis, the Toa Mata ev uh, evolved into the Toa Nuva. Um, recall, initially, they were just called the Toa, and there was no way of knowing who the, like, the Toa Mata were, because nobody used those terms. There wasn't another team of Toa to differentiate them, but later we learned that the Toa are not unique. And so retroactively, because Toa are often called, you know, the Toa blank after their island. Um, this is the original one. Yeah. From great victories, mighty heroes arise. So they all got dunked in their, in their Mata forms. And, and then they emerged like this. Dude, I, I freaked out so hard when I saw this commercial. The Toa received masks of greater power. I have not been able to find my my uh, Toa Nuva Tahu, and like, oh man, it makes me sad. So yeah, they now have dual play features. So all of them have a thing where like, uh, you can now put like Tahu spears together or Tahu's um swords together to make a to make a double sword or to be a surfboard, or you can have Kopaka have a double blade or dual wield or they could be skis. Um, but that was just what the Toa Nuva were. But yeah, this was the, <laughs> the animations are not long. Like they're all about five minutes and I watched five and I did stretch this video out to 45 minutes. Um, and I would say, I'm sorry, but if you would want to watch just those animations, you would go do that. I imagine. Uh, I commentate on these in the way that I commented on the last ones. The thing is, if I were to skip to the next Bionicle game, I would either be playing Bionicle The Game, which is technically about the 2003 story, or I would be playing the Mata Nui Online Game 2, which is also about the 2003 story. And the 2003 story is actually split in two. And 
both of those only cover the second half, technically. Um, and the movie is also about the second half. And almost none of it covers 2002 story. Um, you get a really good view of 01 story in the Modern Nui Online game because that game is uh, still so great. But I would be remiss if I didn't cover the 2002 story. The problem is, is that to do that properly, I would need to go look at the comics or read the books. And that's difficult to show in a medium like this um, because I primarily do Let's Play content. Uh, and I could do something different. But the thing is, this is the most similar. And in fact, it even uses the same animations. It uses the same stuff. Um, and so this is the most quality way that I can show this arc of the story. Um, so that's why I decided to do it like this. I actually do have... This is the Bionicle Heroes case. But inside is Bionicle Heroes. And underneath it is... My original discs for Bionicle, the game for PC. Um, and I've been going back and forth and struggling to get that running. I actually also have Bionicle, the game for PS2. Um, my wife bought it for me. And if I can if I can get a capture card, I'll run it off the PS2. Um, if I can get it running on PC in a way that doesn't look terrible, I'll do that. I actually have gotten Bionicle Heroes running on PC, but it does look kind of bad. Um... But eventually, at some point, I will cover Bionicle the game because I want to cover every Bionicle thing there is on this channel because uh, it's very important to me. But this has been a fairly self-indulgent video. It's come in the middle of uh, my, my break. Uh, I should be moving in soon. Um, I actually have been attempting to move in uh, for this for this period while videos have been dry um and that's why it's been you know uploading like this uh but if you're watching this in a marathon setting you would have no idea but let it be known that this is a self-indulgent video and i admit that freely and when looking back on it i hope i will still enjoy it but i'm very glad to have done it right now i'm happy that i did this i'm glad i got to go look back at the bionicle animations the borak animations and you know what I had fun. I hope you did too. Uh, I've been Alfred. This has been the Bionicle Borok Animations, released in 2002, covering the Matoran side of the 2002 story. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. Have a good Bionicle day, in fact.